I was thinking about other people and not mm. thinking about what I want to do as an actor or how I want to do it. It's it's so against my grain. Uh, it's also more challenging and you know a little scary. Hi, this is Abhimanyu and I'm with Regina Cassandra and Sumit Das, stars of the new Z5 show Jabaz Hindustan Ke. Guys, welcome to DNA. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for your time. Absolutely. Regina, coming to you, you play a female IPS officer. I'll just drop the female. You play, play an IPS officer. So how did you go about preparing for the role first of all? Because it has the mental and physical aspects to it. And B, were there any real life references that you looked at? Yes, I did a fair amount of research in terms of, I mean, YouTube was my basic uh, thing to, especially when it comes to the real life part mm. of it, right? Um, to see the balance that, what what these IPS officers spoke about in their interviews, and, you know, and, and what was their perspective to life. It was very interesting to understand because all of them have very different lives. Mm. I was talking to Kiran Vedi Ma'am yesterday and um, she, uh, she had a very different uh, upbringing and a very different uh, uh, entry into this. Mm. And there are other female IPS officers who had a different upbringing and so many battles that they had to face. And also the most important thing for me was to see how or what kind of a chord they struck between the uh, between family and work right. because it's not any sort of work already in mm. our country if a, if a lady has to prioritize work over family, family she's yeah. <laughs> made to feel guilty and there's a certain shame that right. you know that people make her feel because she has also other so-called duties of being a mother and mm. which which definitely is a duty if you want to be one of us mm. right. you know yeah. so so what are the choices you make and um, how do you go about balancing these two things um, because at, on one, on you know, on, on in 24 hours, you're probably going and uh, killing terrorists, and then you probably also are coming back home 24 hours later right. to a family and a son who probably failed an exam, yeah. or you know. So how real does exactly, life get, yeah. and wh what are the realities of life? So that, those were things, and plus the script itself had like um, you know enough to hmm. to dive into. So it was, so for me, it, it so now became what what is Kavya Iyer right. and what would Kavya Iyer do in a situation like this? So does the the physical aspect sort of take a backseat because people talk about training and getting into those fight scenes and stuff and all that? that does that take a backseat because <laughs> the mental aspect is sort of more important sometimes? Absolutely not. No, <laughs> <laughs> no definitely not because um, again, citing from real life examples. It's very important that, that, that a woman has played a sport mm. and is physically active. It's not an easy job right. at all. The job itself. Yeah. yeah so yeah. if I'm going to be doing that job and now if I'm going to be like portraying in, uh, someone who I need to look it and I need to be it. Mm. I mean, especially for, for, a, for a role like this and a character like this, it's so important to be physically fit. Right. Um, I think I've been blessed with broad shoulders. All my life I keep saying, oh my God, I have shoulders that are 15 inches <laughs> they're so broad they're so broad but it's come to great use yeah, the stars look great now yeah yeah they're they? abs shining quite bright <laughs> yeah so it's coming to you uh, sort of a breaking the type right for you here and uh, i think you're pretty happy about that your fans are too so was that a conscious decision to take sort of a, a negative gray shade because that is something people haven't seen you do a lot or ever if i'm if i can remember was that the primary focus here for a primary sort of draw that, that drew you to the soul? Yeah, yeah, to a large extent, uh, that, that's what drew me into the script, that uh, if I could play something like this, it's it's so against my grain. Uh, it's also more challenging and, you know, a little scary because you don't know how it will land and you should be able to pull it off and if uh, people who sort of seen and appreciated your work would accept you in something like this. But one will only find out if one takes those chances, you know, and one will only grow when you you take those chances where you can possibly fail. Uh, having said that, I did my homework right. for whatever uh, it's worth and uh, I tried to do this part as serious, sincerely as I did all the other parts that I did. To be very honest, I'm actually not even a lot like the people I've played. <laughs> right. You know. But it's sort of the image that, that yeah. like once you play similar characters, people tend to yeah. think that's who you are. True. I mean true, Regina true. can of course agree to that as well because once you play characters of a certain type, people think that's who you are. The yeah. audience will sort of equate that with you. Yeah. And then breaking the type becomes more challenging as well as more rewarding. More rewarding also. If, yeah. if it hits right, like you say, yeah. people will appreciate it that much more because they're not true. used to or expecting you you to do something like that. Yeah. 
so fingers crossed for that one thing i wanted to ask you is that uh, crime dramas or cop dramas tend to sometimes uh, stereotype the antagonist a lot mm. whether it's a terrorist whether it's a criminal anything do you think this show has managed to stay away from that your portrayal of it particularly yeah absolutely you know and that's what uh, i mean while signing the show i wanted to meet the makers and i wanted to understand how they saw the show hmm. uh and i met met sujit mukherjee ji and uh, and i clearly identified with his vision for this character and for the show uh also the way i played it uh, i've said this before also i don't i don't like judging the character that i'm playing right. be it a, you know so called negative character or positive or a funny or a serious character uh i don't look at it like that uh i look for what drives this person uh, tarik is the name of this character right. he's an engineer he's uh, born somewhere but he's lived in different parts of the world so uh, the, you know uh, becoming what he has become and choosing this way of life has been a conscious uh, thought out decision for him you know so there must be something that is driving him right to do that there must be something that justifies his actions in his head you know so one needs to figure that out only then can one sincerely play the part right we can i'll sit later and judge him for right, what he's course. done yeah yeah but you have to be convinced about his convictions otherwise Absolutely. you can't bring that out right yeah did you know one of the f- things that you mentioned was that how women have to face a lot of judgments in a professional world and that's true for any profession not like more so for for the armed forces and for police because that's sort of considered a man's domain anyway <clears throat> but i'm pretty sure in your profession as well you have faced uh, things that where male actors would not uh, think twice about doing something you would have would have reservations because of how people would view it do you remember any such, such instances where you were put in a box or where you were given no this is not what a female actress would do at this point of time and you have to sort of convince yourself no no this is just conditioning i mean growing up when i first started doing uh, movies like full fledged got into acting and became a career um especially with with not knowing you know not having anyone right. from the film industry to tell you that what you could do and can't do and how you can do it and can't do it um probably wearing so called skimpy clothes was a thought oh, right you know like how are people going to view it because i don't mind doing it hmm. i don't mind wearing it but would would my audience now take it differently mm. would I, how would i be perceived as a woman right in society right not just the industry but in society and um i broke that last year i did like a so called item song right. because i just felt like this is something i want i want to do everything yeah and um yeah so so i think it was that and it was pretty much because i was thinking about other people and not mm. thinking about what i want to do as an actor or how i want to do it was it sort of free once you did it absolutely yeah when you let go of something it's just so relieving uh people have been talking at length about south versus north this and that i'm not going to get into that my idea is isn't it good for actors because of your shows your films are also getting a wider recognition so is it sort of the best time to be an actor right now in this country because of the avenues that you have ott films languages everything that that comes with I think that that is that is true I mean you're right everything that you said is pretty much not a question it's Sorry, uh, I just answered my question <laughs> yeah so I I agree with you though yeah. and I think at the end of the day it's the content hmm. that matters it could be tamil telugu and I'm so glad to hear people now say tamil telugu before this should be south. south there are more this malayalam kannada and all but people will get yeah, yeah, better yeah, yeah. with it and people and and I'm so happy to see a lot of especially during the pandemic hmm. Malayalam content was watched wow. widely. Yeah. And obviously then people wanted to remake it in Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 that's the best part about OTT. So so you you essentially watched a movie on an OTT channel mm. and then taken to the theaters in Hindi. So yeah. So I mean what better than that? Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for talking to us and all the best for the show. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.